So I realized there was a bit of confusion in our class yesterday over discrete versus continuous variables. I want to show you an easier method that will hopefully help you uh, understand these problems a bit better. Okay, if we're talking about the number of bedrooms in a house, what you can do is you can draw a number line and you can pick a random number of bedrooms that you think a house will have, say for example, three bedrooms. Now, if I want to increase the number of bedrooms, what is my next possibility? Well, it would be four bedrooms and then five and then six and so on. Okay, the increase is by one okay you can only have a fixed number of bedrooms you cannot take a value in between these you cannot have 3.2 bedrooms 3.5 bedrooms 5.6 bedrooms you can only have these fixed numbers which makes this a discrete variable okay if we're talking about another example say the weight of a person okay again pick a random weight 150 for example if I want to increase this weight what could I pick well I could pick honestly any number I wanted bigger than 150 okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick 151 152 153 okay now if I'm looking between these values can I pick a value between 150 and 151? Well, yes, your weight can be 150.5, for example, can be 150.8, it can be 150.15. Honestly, it can be any value between those two numbers, right? So say, for example, your weight was increasing from 150 to 153 pounds, okay, your weight would take every single value in between there would be no number between 150 and 153 that your weight would not hit which means that it's a continuous variable okay some more examples say we're talking about the number of students in a class Okay, again, we start off at 50 students. If we want to increase this number, what's the next possibility? Well, it's going to be 51, then 52, then 53, and so on. Again, increase by 1. If I try to pick a number between this, these two, is it possible? Can I have 50.5 students? Nope, that's not possible. So you can only pick these exact numbers which makes it a discrete variable okay if we're talking about shoe size you can say I start a random number of 8 how much does shoe size increase by well it's gonna go 8.5 9 9.5 10 okay again there's a constant increase by 0 0.5 you can't have a shoe size between 8 and 8.5 which means you can only take these fixed values making it again a discrete variable okay one last example if you're talking about the liters of gas in your tank Okay, well, say for example, your, your, your car starts off at one liter. Okay, how much can you fill it by? Or how much can you increase it by? Um, you can honestly pick a couple of numbers bigger than one. So I'm just gonna pick two, three, four. Okay, and can, can, you, can your tank have 1.5 liters? Yep, that's possible. Can it have 2.3 liters? That's possible. Can it have 3.15? Yep, that's possible too. Basically, if your tank is going from 1 liter to 4 liters, it's going to take every single value in between before it reaches that final value.
making it again a continuous variable. <laughs> 